Good morning. Today is the penultimate day of my Hercules bike tour around the Peloponnese. Penultimate, I love that word. So today I'm gonna to be leaving ancient Epidavros and cycling up to Corinth. It doesn't quite follow the coast. In fact, I think it goes through the mountains looking at the map, which I'll show you in a bit. And the distance to Corinth should be around 50 to 60 kilometers, but I'm hoping to go a little bit further to a campsite kind of halfway between Corinth and Athens. That means that I'll be on course to get to Athens for Sunday and that the Athens journey should be about 70 kilometers. I said I'd show you around the campsite, so I'm gonna show you briefly about what this campsite looks like and some of the facilities. Okay, so this is Camping Nicholas at ancient Apidavros. And confusingly, there's more than one Camping Nicholas. So I think this is Camping Nicholas two, I think. Anyway, there's not a lot of people here at the minute because it's still the off season pretty much. And you can probably just see my bike there. I found a little table and chair, and that's where I planned my route. And I'll quickly show you that now. So I'm here, and I'm gonna follow this road up. This is Corinth, and I'm hoping to stop kind of here or here. There is a campsite here as well. So if the hills are a little bit too much, maybe I'll just take an early day. It would mean almost a hundred kilometer journey back to Athens on the Sunday, but it is something I can do because I cycled out that way. At, right at the beginning of the journey if you remember back to the first video uh, looking at the map there's a lot of green here next to the road that means it's a scenic route and scenic is normally code for hilly so we'll see how that pans out anyway let's uh this this campsite set in an orange grove which is very nice quite shaded and there's a little baby orange look or are they satsumas not too sure Cool, no one in here. So this is like the washing up station. Most campsites in Greece have really got the same layout. So there's a the ladies, can't show you in there. So I'll quickly show you the, the men's layout. So there's some wash basins to have a shave and a shower. I've got the loos. And got the showers which had nice hot water for some reason the loos in greek campsites don't have a seat there we go you learn something new every day don't you and one more little area uh kind of like a clothes washing area this one uh, there's a little washing machine there and that was a fridge that i kept my stuff in at night and that's pretty much the campsite so I'll take you off for a walk back to the bike, so we'll take the shortcut. Cool. So I'm going to leave here. It's about uh, nine o'clock and I'll give you some clips and some updates from the road. So I'll speak in a bit. Just going to negotiate my way out of the campsite, back into the town, and then I'm going to pick up some Scooby snacks for the road and then cycle on to Corinth. They certainly grow a lot of oranges around here. Must be coming towards the end of the season, I would have thought. It's normally a winter fruit, as far as I'm aware. Well, what would you know? One of the oranges fell into my handlebar bag. How did it do that? Oh well, I guess I'll just have to sample it later, won't I? Back up on the main road and the sign said Athens was 124 and Corinth, I think it said 57. I'm expecting a bit of a climb. I think there's 700 metres to be gained within a very short distance, like 10 or 20 kilometres. But then of course there is always a downhill after that. baby it's a bit of an epic landscape you see that monastery up there I guess it was once a monastery another pretty steep climb 
probably didn't go too high but the percentage of the gradient was uh, interesting but it looks like there's a couple of coffee places in front of me so it's about frappe time about an hour and a half into the journey I think I think stop for 20 minutes to enjoy a coffee is a reward and sausage roll did just the trick and got talking to uh, the person that worked there they got a few cyclists come up and down here and I guess they're noticeable because they're probably always going to stop at this place and uh, she kept coming out with glasses of water for me so that's great so I'm fully rehydrated but probably going to have about 10 p stops now along the road which I'm sure you really needed to know anyway maybe 40 kilometers until Corinth if you can make out but it looks like I'm descending down to sea level now well, that's an interesting sign I'm guessing it means that the road curls a lot for 10 kilometers and then somebody corrected it with 13 kilometers and my guess is being somewhere about 50 meters above sea level at the minute that's going to go up so this could be the start of the tougher section and I think that that could be going up to 700 meters of ascent, which over those 10 kilometers is gonna be interesting. Here we go. It seems to have clouded over from nowhere. So I'm not sure if this will change my plans or not. I checked the weather forecast and it does say that there is a chance of rain and I'd say that it's, well, it's got to be pretty much 100% chance at some point. So I think the only thing to do is just to get cracking, get as far as I can and then see what happens when it does rain. So that's option number one for where to stay tonight. Obviously it's a lot quicker to get there, can probably get there before it rains and get the tent set up. The downside is that tomorrow I'll have longer to cycle into Athens. As I said before though, it's, it's easily doable, uh, but I'm probably gonna hit some traffic at some point because I'll be getting into Athens a little bit later, probably, I don't know, center Athens, two o'clock, three o'clock. So what peak traffic there will be, will probably be happening then. So I'll see what happens when I get there, 17 kilometers to go in, in any case. After filming that last bit, it was all downhill, which was a bonus, and you can probably see the sea over to the right. Still a ways to go to get down to sea level though. And if you can make out, that signpost says two kilometers to the camping, but I've made the decision to push on, I think. It's 25 kilometers until the next one. And I'm feeling pretty good. Um, so yeah, there might even be a bit of a tailwind as well, which will be lovely jubbly. So I wanted to take you over a smaller Corinth Canal bridge. But it looks like it's closed, which is a bit of a shame. Anyway, so it looks like we're gonna go over the one I've been over before. I'll, I'll do a quick stop again. So that's the canal from the other side. So now about 20 kilometers to go until the campsite, maybe a little bit less. Hopefully with a tailwind as well. I'm gonna to start to look for somewhere to get some supplies because from memory, this campground, I stayed at it a couple of years ago. It was a bit crap and didn't have a lot there. So try and take some snacks in with me, be prepared for the night. It also looks like I've beaten the rain for today. 
and if it rains tonight or tomorrow well it can do it's going to be my last day as I get into Athens well I got my snacks but I couldn't quite outpace the start of the rain still only looks to be a short shower so I'm just going to sit it out in here found some shelter take five and then get going again hello so there I avoided most of the rain and I'm at the campground and I'm set up behind me which you can probably see the bike in the tent just now and if you ever watched any of my cycling videos from uh, Greece to England you'll probably recognize this campground this was the first one I stayed at on the trip so kind of fitting that this is the last campground of this trip that I'm staying on just making my way to the beach there we go just like 10 meters from the beach I think last time I went swimming looks a bit chilly right now so that was the end of the day's ride uh, I think it was about 70 or 80 kilometers in the end looks like it right, uh, might rain tonight but no worries the tent's nice and waterproof and tomorrow just gives me 70 kilometers to get into Athens so if you like the video please thumbs up subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one cheers for now